Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to be using the fantastic Divi Supreme module and add on to the Divi theme itself and we're going to create this request a callback button that when you click on it pops up a little contact form with a name, month, day, phone number and a time you'd like to be called back and they can send that off obviously really easy to do so let's get started first thing we want to do is make sure you've got Divi Supreme modules installed with your Divi theme you can take Divi for a test drive below from a link below this video and you can also get Divi Supreme Pro from there too so first once you've got Divi Supreme installed you want to go to the Divi Supreme just make sure that you've got enable pop-up checked and it's purple like that save your changes and we're good to go so let's go down to our where we want to work first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder once enabled let's go down to where we'd like to work really doesn't matter we'll just add a new row here I'm going to use a single column and I'm going to use a contact form because we're going to create our font contact form first and then create the button so I don't need an email address and I don't need a message field this is the default ones that come up when you first put it in I want to add a new field we do want their telephone number so I'll, I'll call it phone and the title your phone And we'll go down to field options so you can see it's put it in right there it's an input field we only want them to put a uh, certain symbols in there which will be numbers because it's a telephone number that's great so we're good to go with that one let's save that underneath there we want them to put in the date that they'd like to be called back so let's add a new field I've got a date required date and day something like that field options again you can pretty much leave it how it is I guess we could put it to alphanumeric so it allows numbers and letters for that one but they might want to put slashes in between the date so I'm going to allow all and all these fields I've left as required okay so we've got their name we've got their telephone number we've got the date and date that they want to be called back save this now let's ask them some times that they want to be called back so let's go up we'll add a new field and I'll just call this one time required time and in the field options this time we're going to use some check boxes so I'll go down to check boxes for the first one I'm going to put in um, say 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. 10 a.m. I should say it's a two hour window I'm gonna clone it I change this one 10 a.m. 12 p.m. and I'll continue I'll pause this and I'll do it till 5 p.m. okay so I put the last one in there we're good to go we'll just save that we'll give our form let's roll up a bit so you can see what's going on we'll give it a little bit of a, a background color we'll use a fairly light color either a light gray or perhaps a light blue like that that's fine now we want to give it a bit of padding all around and we want to make sure that that forms full width just like the others so let's go into that first one 
we'll go to design layout and make full width great now let's put a little bit of padding all around so it doesn't look squashed up against the side just go to design going to go down to spacing and I'm going to give it 50 pixels padding all around just put in 50 it'll put in the pixels for you hit the chain it'll do the opposite side and the same for the left and right there we go fantastic so we've got our little form there just give it a bit of box shadow for fun okay now we're in the main contact form settings let's give our form a title and let's give it a success message something like you will be called back submit button I guess we'll say request callback that's fine the email address well this is where the forms going to be sent so that's pretty important you want to put your email address or wherever you want the form to be sent to me at my email.com don't want to redirect we've got a little capture in there for spam detection that's fine so I think we'll just save that as it is let's just hit the check mark now we've got it completed we need to save it up to our library to be able to use it as a pop-up and to do that we need to hit the little save module to library icon between the clone icon and the trash icon and we'll give it a name I'll call it callback and we'll save it to our library now we can get rid of this module now because we're all done with it it's saved to our library and we don't want it to be there initially we want a button there so when that's done I'm going to save my changes and refresh because we've got to add a button and we've got to add it from the library then and we need to refresh it before it'll show up in the library so I'm just I've saved I'm just going to refresh the page while that's loading remember that this will not work unless you've got Divi Supreme Pro installed and you've got the enable pop-up enabled okay well let's go back to our page go down we'll put a button in where we deleted our contact form add new module I'm going to use a simple button right here there it is and for the text we'll say request callback don't need a link or an admin label let's go to my design I'm gonna put it in the middle and we'll just style the button a little bit use custom styles for button text color I'm gonna make white so it will disappear in the background there button background let's make that purple there we go and let's set a hover cover color too to do that hover over where it says button background in the dark hit the arrow desktop state is a non hover state hover state obviously is the hover state itself let's make it blue on hover I don't want to have a border so I'm going to take my border off if you want to keep a border on there don't forget to change colors on hover with the border also Yeah, I don't need a button icon I think all I want to do now is just add a little bit of box shadow and we're good to go now we need to turn this from a regular button into a button that's going to pop up our module and to do that we need to go to the advanced tab down to visibility and because we've got that little toggle on we've now got something down below that says use pop up so I'm going to flip that to yes I want to use a layout because we saved our contact form as a layout now we've got to select it from the library and it was called callback there it is so we told it which which module that from the library we want it to pop up 
trigger on module click that's fine we could either trigger trigger on module or on button click because the module is a button so you can use either of those close pop-up triggers I'm gonna leave all these just as they are because they work for me out, out out of the box straight away you can choose whether to have the pop-up trigger inside or outside the box you can auto close it after a certain amount of time if you want to you can change the animation but like I say all of these are absolutely fine for me so I believe I'm good to go you can change the width etc and we've got a show close button as default it gives you an X if you want to change any of these things help yourself so let's save this now and we'll save our page changes once saved let's exit the visual builder let's go down to where our little button is there it is click it and there's our little form just popped up there's the little close button I was talking about so we're good to go I guess I could style that button a little bit better but it's fine for the demonstration so there is how to add a little callback form on pop-up from a button to your Divi site using the Supreme Modules plugin so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day